this is episode two of the bear form series in the description box for this video you'll find a link to episode one of the series and also to the video essence of movement form of exercise and the EOE America blog post that outlines the basic theory. I highly recommend you check those out if you haven't already because they will help to make sense of the training methodology of this series. In this episode, we're going to begin showing how to apply essence of evolution theory to form and movement training. Over the course of this series, we'll be looking at hand method exercise training, footwork practice, and dynamic freestyle movement training. We'll examine principle and strategic thought and apply those ideas to training with the heavy bag. Over the course of this episode, we will examine movement principle, offer demonstrations of physical proof, and give examples of self-training exercises focusing on hand method. Reviewing the first section of the bear form, we have inside closing movement followed by outside opening movement. There are many variations of this type of movement within different styles of martial arts. The principle of open close movement is expansion and contraction. A three-dimensional object has an inside and an outside. Movement out from the center is expansion. Movement in toward the center is contraction. We can look at physical proof of this principle using a balloon, which inflates and deflates. We can also see this principle in action through the whipping motion of a towel. A towel has a pliable and fluid structure, which makes it a good object both to demonstrate and to practice the transfer of power. Total body opening and closing movement is visible in the breaststroke from swimming. Arms and legs work in cooperative balance to move the swimmer through the water. With this exercise, the idea is to let an object, in this case a towel, teach your body how to generate power through fluid movement. Remember, objects are objective. A standing exercise using the breaststroke as our basis of movement. Note that the wide arc of the arms serves to open and expand the torso. Using the three-point method, we can also vary this exercise by size and speed, creating spiral movement. Twisting the body from left to right with the arms extending and then wrapping the body. Note that the palm of the high hand wraps the shoulder while the back of the low hand wraps the waist. Practice transferring momentum all the way to the fingertips. Beginning with the bear form's opening posture, we move into circulation exercise. Practice making a smooth and continuous movement. Next, applying the three-point method, we vary the movement by size, small, medium, and large. This creates spiral movement. Showing the same exercise on the other side. Now using both hands at the same time. Again, applying the three-point method to vary the size of our movement. Now 
now alternating left and right, once again applying the three-point method. Starting from the same posture, now moving to the outside. We start again here with circulation exercise. Then again apply the three point method to vary the movement by size. Small, medium, and large. And showing the same exercise on the other side. Now using both hands at the same time. Now alternating left and right. Here we combine the movements, alternating left and right, 